contain a double portion. Anybody going to debate with me on that? He did not die. He was translated. He was taken up. Wasn't sick. Already knew he was going to leave. Already told because he was a prophet of God. I mean, no prophets have insight of the future. Amen. And the real prophet. Now, somebody might have prophet lied to you. <laughs> but real prophets have insight of the future. Amen. 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 So he already knew I'm leaving here. Amen. Amen. Uh, so, 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 so he did not die. He was translated. He was caught up. He was taken. Amen. While he was talking. Amen. He didn't fall out. Amen. He didn't go into no seizure. He didn't have a heart attack. Amen. Chariots of horses and fire came like a whirlwind and took him up. Amen. Amen. It was special to God. Somebody say it was special to God. Special. And, and, I, and I want us to strive to be that kind of special in the sight of the Lord. Amen. I mean, no God, I mean, Old Testament and New Testament uh, somewhat differ in some ways, but how many know that uh, uh, the same power uh, that God had then, he still has now. Amen. And we are still privy to it. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh, he ain't going to use Elijah or Elisha no greater than he'll use you. Amen. 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 The, the, the sometimes we look at the Bible and uh, sometimes the work that a prophet did or a preacher did or a priest did, we seem to want it to die when the character in the Bible died. But how many know God always raises up somebody new? Amen. He always has a successor for the predecessor. Huh? Amen. Even his work. Who, who, who is he dependent on now to carry out his work? Y'all scared to say it? Us. Now, 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 if God was to visit us one-on-one -on -one and say, uh, I want to evaluate you. <laughs> I want to evaluate. I have downloaded in you my spirit, my power. You can do everything I do, even greater. I want to evaluate you to see just how you are carrying out my work. I'm not going to ask you to uh, uh, raise your hands. I'm not going to ask you to answer that question to me openly. But I want you to take one second and ask yourself, if God wants to evaluate me, I wonder what my evaluation will be. Because he left us down here to occupy, to work till he comes. And some of us are still being slowful, still being lazy. Still been labor. Let brother so and so do it. Let sister so and so do it. Let bishop so and so do it. Let pastor so and so do it. If you have been filled with the Holy Spirit, you have the power to do it. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. Amen. But but ask yourself the question: If Christ, if the Lord Jesus Christ was to evaluate me, if He had a one-on-one, -on -one, how many of y'all had evaluations on your jobs? Amen. And you hoping, oh, I hope I get a good evaluation so I can get a raise, so I can get a nickel, a nickel more. Oh, I get, I'm serious. Years ago, I mean, some years ago, a nickel was, a nickel more than what you was making was excellent. Yeah. Oh, hope I get a good evaluation. Uh, you sitting one on one with the boss. The boss is asking you questions and 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 and, and checking off stuff while while you know. Uh, He's asking or she's asking you questions and you hoping that it all comes out positive so you can get your raise or get your promotion. Amen. Take that same uh, thought process and put yourself one on one with God. And wonder what your evaluation would be if the Lord was to evaluate you tonight. <laughs> Think about it. 30 seconds. Since you have downloaded in me your power to carry out your works, the latter should be greater than the former. But what am I doing in the kingdom? Am I depending on somebody else to do it? Or am I working? Or if I, have I asked God to let me have a double portion of your spirit? Double portion of your power. Uh, I ain't getting up at no 5 o'clock in the morning to pray. If the Lord was to evaluate you, what do you think your evaluation would come out to be? Because if you have doubts in your mind that those same doubts might keep you 
from the rapture. Oh God, I'm not here to judge tonight. I'm here to, I'm here to, uh, the boy on TV, Arsenio Hall, you say, things that make you say, hmm. <laughs> Have you ever thought about, if the Lord was to evaluate me one-on-one, -on -one, what would he think of me? What would he think of my heart? What would he think of my mind? What would he think of the work I'm doing? What even would he think of my appearance? Ooh. Ooh. Would he like the places I go? Would he like the words I speak? Would he like the prayers I pray? Would he like the messages I preach? Would he like the songs I sing? Everybody's quiet now, my pastor would say. Maybe I, maybe I have you uh, in one of those things that make you go, hmm, spirits. I'm serious, y'all. In this day and time, now, 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 Elijah asked Elijah for more uh, double portion of his spirit. In this day and time, we should be asking for a double, triple, quadra. Right. Amen, because these days are bad. I was telling the men of, uh, before this Bible study, perilous times have not, uh, uh, they're here. Amen. Amen. In the last days, perilous times will come. They are here. Amen. So all of us should want more of God. More of God's spirit. Yes. Amen. 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 Y'all looking at me like I'm talking a foreign language up here. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. Y'all still thinking about being evaluated? <laughs> let me let you in on something for free. For free. This is for free. Um, Sometimes you don't even have to ask God to evaluate you. He'll just show up in your spirit. And let you know whether he's pleased or displeased. Uh, uh, let me let me let me let me help you on that. When you are close to God, when you have a relationship with God, when you are in steady communication with God, you don't have to say, God, evaluate me, check me out, search me, Lord. You don't even have to do it. He'll let you know. Am I right about it? Am I the only one God speaks to in here? <laughs> huh? No, sir. Well, somebody say amen. 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 So Elijah here, he wanted uh, a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Uh, Elijah was a great man, used of God in his generation, but the time came where it was time for him to pass the baton to a new generation. Amen. Some some folks stay in the way too long. Amen. Amen. Now now Elijah didn't have nothing to be ashamed about. I told you a minute ago he knew. You know he was a prophet of God. He he can foresee the future. He knew my time is up. I'm about to depart here from here. Amen. So it's time for him to pass the baton to a new generation. Sometimes new generations are taking turn and mess stuff up. In, in, in fact, down here on earth, every one of our generations get worse and worse. 